All right, welcome back YouTube. We got another painting update. It's been over a week, but not because I haven't been doing things. I've actually been trying to hobby as much as I can. Uh, it's just, man, things take a while sometimes. Um, so not surprisingly, this is another unit of open order infantry for the Persians that are in front of us here. Um, nothing crazy. I painted these guys. Um, so these are Takabara guys. And in case anybody doesn't know about the Persians, um, Takabara guys, they were kind of like the low quality troops of the Persian army. There's actually even some debate on if they were even used in in uh in actual open battles or if they were more of a garrison marine type troop um but essentially they're guys with crescent shields and javelins and hand weapons so these guys would be your more levy type of guys uh this is my second unit of 20 that i've done i have a command the command's technically not done i need to paint the standard just a little bit unfortunately i can't put the decal on the standard because my dog decided to eat my transfer sheet of decals for the standards. So I get the joy of ordering another set from Vitrix in the UK and waiting a year for them to come. So pretty pretty upset about that. Uh, I can't believe my dog decided to go onto my desk in my office and eat my fucking transfer sheets. But nonetheless, that is what he did. Uh, yeah, so I painted these guys. Um, half of them have patterns, half of them do not. Um, 17 of the 18 have shield transfers. One does not have a shield transfer just because I didn't, I wasn't going to buy a whole nother sheet for just one or two extra shield transfers. Uh, yeah, they painted up more or less good. Um, I painted them to a slightly lower standard than what I painted everything else to. Uh, I just, I wanted to get them done and I'm, I'm running out of that steam for, for you know, that's that proverbial steam uh, when you're getting to the end of a project and you've been painting the same army for a while, you just, you get tired of it. You know, when you're painting 350 Persians and you're about 250 down, you're just getting tired of painting Persians. Now, I, halfway through, I took a break and I painted like 60 Germans for World War II, but it's it's largely been Persians since October of last year, November. So, almost a year going on with the Persians. Um, I still have a, f a, a few more units I need to paint up, a few more command stands, uh, but the project does continue. This is the last unit of miniatures I need for the game with Holy Diver, so we will be able to do Marathon. Uh, and then after that, we're going to do Thermopylae. I need to paint a unit of 10,000 for Thermopylae, and then after Thermopylae, we can do Plantea and uh my cali so and maybe we'll do one maybe we'll do like uh there's a couple other decent sized battles for the greco-persian wars in there um after the spartans pull out and it's just the athenian league going at it solo or the hellenistic league i should say uh but yeah uh I'll show off some of these miniatures and then I will show in the last part of the video what really caused me to uh, take forever. So yeah, so we got some patterns on some of them. Just the patterns are only in yellow and white. I didn't do anything too crazy. Um, like I said, only half of them have patterns. But these guys are a little bit more muted. They're not flamboyant like the other guys. I just did some muted greens and blues on them, a couple in white. But, yeah. So, and this is the unfinished command. Turned out nicely, though. A little shiny. Haven't put the varnish on him yet, so we gotta do the varnish. But, yeah, so that's these guys. Shield decals, good as usual. I'll show the musician off. He's not glued on yet because I, I want to finish the standard up. 
But yeah, so that's what I got painted. These guys were more or less done Friday. I just had to finish them up. I had to like do some highlights, paint like the hair and beards and do the shields. So they were more or less done Friday, but I just didn't couldn't get them finished. I never get to paint on the weekends. Um, weekends usually family time for me or other other activities not even family time this weekend I, I went out to the desert and did a bunch of training but uh but yeah so last part of the video coming up all right well told you this week would be a little different and it is because there is a 28 millimeter trireme in front of you so this is the one I showed off in the package. I was able to get one built. Um, holy shit. It was a full-on model kit. I'll tell you what. And uh, it, it went together. Now that it's together, it looks really good. But not without incident. Um, I would not recommend this for the novice. If you're someone that doesn't like Rubicon model kits, you need to stay the hell away from this. Because this is, this is on par with doing... Uh, a real 172nd or 135th scale model kit from like Tamiya or Dragon Models or something. Um, hund hundreds of pieces, um, or like a hundred pieces maybe, uh, and, and, it, and it needed some custom fitting to make it work. It wasn't just out of the directions. I had to cut some of the panels and do some custom fitting and shaving and, and gluing. It just wasn't a straight, straight out of the box kit. Uh, so I can't recommend it for the novice, but if you're an experienced modeler, I think you can make this work. And, and now that it's together, it looks good. Um, but like with all things modeling, you need to take your time and practice fit everything and just triple down. And um, I would super suggest some super glue activator. I did not have any. And so I spent on a couple, a few of the panels, I had to sit there and hold them for like 10 minutes. <laughs> even using really good high quality super glue. Um, but this thing took like four hours to build. Like it took a lot of time and I got to build the second one. So, and then I got to paint both of them. So um, hopefully this week I can get the second one built. And then this weekend I can paint both these bad boys. I already got a paint. Uh, I'm going to do a paint scheme for both of them. One of them is going to be red and black and one's going to be blue and white. So that's kind of the scheme I'm going with there. I don't think I'm going to create a custom sale for them yet. Maybe I will down the road. Um, I don't regret buying them because once they're done, they're done. And I'll be able to use them for for a lot of Greco-Roman games. Uh, so I, I don't regret buying them at all. But uh, if you're not an experienced modeler, you just might want to buy something that's pre-built. They look decent, put together. The fitting is meh. Um, you know, as a terrain piece, it'll be fine. Some of the panels that I had to cut and do some mending on my own, uh, the, the fitting turned out just a little bit wonky, but, uh, hopefully now that I've done one, the second one will go together. Good. So that's that. Um, the game is getting close. All the miniatures are complete. Um, we just now have to do, we just have to build and paint the boats one boat down, another one to go, and get them painted. I'm using the airbrush, so I don't think it'll take that much time to get these painted up. So, that's this uh, this painting update for this week. Next week, it's still going to be more Persians or and or boats, triremes. Um, yeah, so I have a, I already have 12 horses primed and ready, but uh, they are going to be used. I'm going to be using uh, contrast paints on those. First time ever using them. We're going to see how we like them. I got them primed white. And yeah, we're going to give her a whirl with the contrast paints. I'm hoping it saves time, to be honest, because uh, I'm losing I'm losing steam on wanting to paint Persians. So anything, you know, I still got 100 more Persians to paint. So anything that saves time is is a, is a bonus on my book. So we're going to give the contrast paints a, a, a go there. So till next time, guys, keep on hobbying. And stay the course. Don't let those projects go the way of the dodo. Just stay with it and eventually one day it will be done and you'll have a beautiful army to game and look at. Bye.